Thanks moderator, Dr. Wonder Atsmin Binti Mode Sabri. First of all, I want to thanks Lord Smerit and Dr. Cartho for inviting me to give a speech with title COVID-19, Peter Chu Pandemic to Endemic Strategy. COVID-19 will likely shift from pandemic to endemic scientists predict that COVID-19 will become endemic over time a pandemic is an epidemic that spreads across many countries and many continents around the world. Endemic disease is constantly present in a certain population or region, with relatively low spread, or there may be periods when it doesn't affect people at all, if it is only present in the environment. Death seems like it should be an accurate measure of the pandemic's evolution and effects, the worst outcome, an unequivocal outcome. Some experts who do not support the COVID-19 endemic idea usually have some misunderstandings, for example, a, a high infection rate will definitely lead to a high mortality rate, b, high vaccination levels can ensure that a country does not face a surge in high mortality. An article, why we must not allow COVID to become endemic and New Zealand indicate as example, let us see an article, why we must not allow COVID to become endemic and New Zealand indicate the Delta variant spreads fast and without controls. If COVID-19 becomes endemic, there will not be one or two people sick in a workplace or a home. Because too many people are sick when the healthcare system fails to accommodate the latest wave, more people will die. We do not care what the current strategy is called as long as we persist with border protection and public health measures until we achieve close to universal vaccination. Otherwise, many thousands of New Zealanders will be hospitalized, die. But real world evidence shows that the United Kingdom and Japan are facing high infection rates but not high mortality rates. Japan's plummeting COVID-19 cases create mysterious success story B. In fact, the success of Japan has the science base reason, not a mysterious. As we know, PM UK lifting of most remaining COVID-19 restrictions in England on the 19th of July amid a backlash from government scientific advisors who have warned that doing so would be like building new variant factories. Many scientists felt that the government's full relaxation of mitigating restrictions in England, such as mask wearing and the closure of nightclubs and other venues, on the 19th of July was reckless. But now, scientists are scratching their heads over the precipitous decline in daily COVID-19 infections in the United Kingdom following their rapid rise earlier in the year. Officially recorded new cases more than halved in just two weeks, from a high of 54,674 on the 17th of July to 22,287 on the 2nd of August. This shows that there are some misunderstandings about COVID-19, and some wrong conclusions need to be clarified so that we can solve the problem of COVID-19. In fact, the decline in daily COVID-19 infections from the 17th of July to the 2nd of August has the science base reason. The full relaxation of mitigating restrictions strategy in England on the 19th of July similar with strategy of Taiwan success contained Delta variant from May to July. The scientific basis reason with study evidence is also pointed out also in my book as mentioned. High vaccination level can not ensure that a country will not face a surge in high mortality. Israel and Singapore send a signal to the world that high vaccination levels do not ensure that a country will not face a surge in high mortality and high infection rates. This shows that countries with high vaccination levels cannot be guaranteed to enter the COVID-19 endemic stage. Rising cases and deaths test Singapore's pivot to treat COVID as endemic. Singapore confronts the division and fear that come from living with COVID. As mentioned, Taiwan's success in containing Delta variant of COVID on the 3rd of July, the vaccination level in Taiwan is very low, the fully vaccination rate is only 0.2% on the 2nd of July. Taiwan also faced shortage of vaccine on July. It sends a signal to the world that low vaccination countries, shortage of vaccine can also solve the surge of Delta variants if they use the right strategy. China has controlled COVID-19 without a vaccine in 2020, which shows the world that if we use the right strategy, we can control COVID-19, including Delta. As we have seen in Taiwan, the vaccination rate is very low and vaccine shortages have successfully controlled the Delta. Some countries cannot control COVID-19 simply because they use the wrong strategy. Any country wants to enter the COVID-19 endemic stage. It is necessary to understand what are the main causes of high mortality and high infection rates, 
so that we can address them when they occur, so as to solve the persistent high mortality rate. Asymptomatic super spreaders with high viral loads cause high severe, high mortality, and high infection rates. The current strategy of testing only symptomatic close contacts in most high infection countries is wrong. This will lead to persistently high infections and high mortality, because super spreaders are usually asymptomatic high viral loads that have not been detected. This strategy will accumulate more asymptomatic super spreaders and cause persistently high infections and high mortality in the country, especially but Asymptomatic patients have higher SARSC of to viral loads than symptomatic patients and unlike in the few study in the literature, higher levels of SARS-CoV-2 plasma RNA had the strongest relationship with disease severity, key laboratory markers, and mortality. Examines the history of close relationships of diagnosed patients, detects 20 for non-symptomatic patients, and reveals that COVID-19 patients do not have symptoms that could potentially provoke others. The importance of this study is to know that patients with COVID-19 are not symptomatic, highly contagious, the duration of the infection may be 3 to 4 weeks, and that their infected patients may have severe disease. Studies suggest that the identification and isolation of persons with symptomatic COVID-19 alone will not control the ongoing spread of SARS-CoV-2 because asymptomatic to asymptomatic transmission was the most common transmission. Study conclude that the higher symptomatic incidence of SARS-CoV-2 infection in Bahrain and subsequent positive contacts from an index case were more likely to be asymptomatic, showing the high silent risk of transmission and need for comprehensive screening for each positive infection to help halt the ongoing pandemic. Studies indicate superspreading drives the COVID pandemic. Study indicate overall. There is substantial heterogeneity in the transmissibility of SARS-CoV-2 infection and therefore potential for superspreading with COVID-19. SSEs pose considerable challenges for local SARS-CoV-2 control as they can quickly overwhelm contact tracing capacity, although most infected persons will generate few or no secondary infections but a small fraction can generate many. Indeed, we observed that 19%, 15-24%, of cases were responsible for 80% of all SARS-CoV-2 transmission in Hong Kong, while 69%, 65-71% of cases did not transmit to anyone. China and South Korea successfully controlled COVID-19 without a vaccine in 2020. Experts now believe that China and South Korea's strategy of testing everyone who has had contact with a patient, including asymptomatic, even if they themselves are not sick asymptomatic, is more efficient at curbing the spread of the virus. The USA and European countries are only testing airport arrivals if they show symptoms. A study pinned down the source of the rapid spread of the coronavirus in China, people with little or no symptoms. The University of Colorado Boulder, where more than 70 to 1,500 saliva samples were tested for a severe acute respiratory syndrome coronavirus to SARS-CoV-2 using QRT-PCR found that, just a percent of infected individuals carry 90% of the variants circulating within communities, serving as viral supercarriers and likely also superspreaders. Therefore, as long as we can track down asymptomatic superspreaders with a high viral load and institutional isolation them to prevent them from continuing to spread, we can reduce the high infection rate. The Lancet studies indicate the higher the viral load, the greater the transmissibility of the virus. Therefore when a patient with high viral load, super spreaders, is identified, the implementation of reinforced contact tracing measures and quarantines might be crucial to reduce onward transmission. Peter Chu pandemic to endemic strategy will resolve all misunderstandings related to COVID-19 through science base or real world evidence. Do not know the real reason and draw conclusions, usually those conclusions are untrue. Peter Chu pandemic to endemic strategy include 1. Peter Chu tracking super spreader strategy, 2. Peter Chu reduce the generation of new super spreader strategy, 3. Peter Chu blocker strategy to reduce high infection rate, 4. Peter Chu nature immunization strategy for anti-vaccine group, 5. Peter Chu religion core strategy for religious believers. Method. Peter Chu's tracking super spreader strategy 1. Tracing close contacts of virus carriers with high viral loads, such as those who brought in dead and severely ill patients. 
Instead of working forwards and finding close contacts who might have been exposed to a particular individual, backwards contact tracing follows the transmission chain back in time to locate the individual who infected the person in question. Akira Endo says backwards tracing can work pretty well as the final hammer to finish the outbreak. Manuscript leading respiratory China expert Zhong Nanshan said the new definition of close contacts for Delta variant, close contacts should be defined as those who stayed in the same space, same unit, or even in the same building and the for days before the onset of symptoms. The backward contact tracing strategy and the new definition of close contacts China strategy can also be used to detect super spreaders. China advice Italy, home isolation of mild COVID-19 cases is a mistake, and China's ongoing zero tolerance COVID-19 approach. China's newly defined close contacts strategy will result in more positive cases being detected. Highly infected Delta variant countries usually have a large number of cases every day. If any high infection country adopts the Chinese strategy, there will be a large number of positive cases that require institutional isolation. Therefore, it is difficult for China's strategy to be replicated by other high infected Delta variant countries. Peter Chu's tracking super spreader and endemic strategy only target the close contacts of asymptomatic viral load super spreaders which just only a small number of positive cases can be implemented by highly infected Delta variant countries. To early diagnosis of silent hip eczemia virus carriers by oximeter. Study indicate patients with silent hip eczemia do not necessarily experience any breathing difficulty, dyspnea, at the early stage of COVID-19 while the disease progresses. As a result, several asymptomatic, Presymptomatic and patients with mild symptoms may escape quarantine measure and thus continue to spread the virus through contacts. Patients with silent hip eczemia are potential super spreaders, and early detection by oximeter is required in any store, restaurant and any public area. 3. Anal test. China using anal swabs for COVID testing study propose anal swabs as the potentially optimal specimen for SARS-CoV-2 detection for evaluation of hospital discharge of COVID-19 patients. Chinese scientists into a small number of COVID patients. In a few cases, people tested negative for COVID in throat and spit testing but tested positive with anal swabs. Li Tongzheng, Associate Director of Respiratory and Infectious Diseases at Beijing's Yuan Hospital say applying extra anal swabs can improve the detection rate of infection and reduce misdiagnosis. High-risk people, anal test to high-risk close contact potential super spreader, CT22, to reduce misdiagnosis. A negative pharynx and sputum virus test may have a positive stool test. B. Travelers. China giving travelers anal tests for COVID-19, travelers are a high-risk group because when they travel to a place, they usually don't know people with whom they are in close contact. Therefore, if they are found to be super spreaders of COVID-19, it is difficult to conduct contact tracing. In order to reduce missed diagnosis, travelers must perform pharynx and sputum virus testing and anal testing. 4. Wastewater Test Nature Biotechnology Study Tracking COVID-19 with wastewater indicate daily sampling of SARS-CoV-2 RNA and wastewater 27 would provide information similar to that from daily random testing of hundreds of individuals in a community, but it is more cost-effective and less invasive. Wastewater data could also be used to check the reliability of epidemiological trends calculated from diagnosed cases Virginagus Syncavicius 28, the European Commissioner for the Environment said that monitoring wastewater can be a low-cost, but fast and reliable way to understand the spread of viruses and their variants among people. Result, Peter Chu pandemic to endemic strategy will resolve all misunderstandings related to COVID-19 through science space or real-world evidence. Do not know the real reason and draw conclusions, usually those conclusions are untrue. One of the main Peter Chu pandemic to endemic strategy are Peter Chu tracking super spreader strategy. The goal of Peter Chu's tracking super spreader strategy is to tracking asymptomatic super spreaders with high viral load and institutional isolation, reducing high hospitalization, high mortality and high infection rates without using vaccines. Studies suggest that heterologous Chadox 1 Cov-19 and Mrna Prime Boost vaccination is an effective alternative to increase population immunity against COVID-19, including against the Delta variant. However, 
If some countries implement booster doses, it will cause vaccine shortages in poor countries. Therefore, Peter Chu's tracking super spreader strategy without using vaccines can be used for poor countries to prevent the surge of COVID-19, especially Delta variants. Conclusion Singapore and Israel send a signal to the world that high vaccination levels cannot ensure that a country faces a surge of high mortality and high infection rates. The current strategy of testing only symptomatic close contacts in most high infection countries is wrong. This will lead to persistently high infections and high mortality, because super spreaders are usually asymptomatic high viral loads that have not been detected. This strategy will accumulate more asymptomatic super spreaders and cause persistently high infections and high mortality in the country, especially but. Peter Chu's tracking super spreader strategy aims to reduce super spreaders in high infection countries to ensure that the country's super spreaders are minimized. Therefore, the focus of this strategy is to first reduce hospitalization and mortality. After that, the infection rate will drop sharply. In addition the practice of this strategy without using vaccine can solve vaccine shortages in poor countries problem. Thanks for listening.